Hi there, Eman here with RemoraLite.com. In this video, we're going to look at the recent prints tab in Remora. Now, this tab is fantastic if you're looking for swing trades or want to see if tickers are above or below cumulative prints in specific time frame ranges. Let's go ahead and have a look at this table. First, we have the ticker, then we have earnings the earnings date and then the time, whether it's after the market close or before the market open. We have the average volume for the ticker and the current price. Then we have the net change for the day and then we have prints for our last 10 trading days. Then we have the short interest, short ratio, ex-dividend date and the dividend amount, should there be one. Looking at this, this has a up green arrow, meaning that it's bullish above all of the prints in the last 10 days. We can see from this list that the prints are sorted from the highest price to the lowest price. The highest price is 146.79 and it's an 862,000 share trade. So, we're at one if we closed at 149.99, we're above this. The low was 133.77. This might be a possible long. If we look down here at Baba, Baba is also above the prints. But notice this level here, 9227. Our criteria in this was 400,000 when we ran this report. So there were two trades that made up 786,000. So if there are smaller prints at the same price level, but they add up to more than our criteria that we chose, then it counts as multiple trades. Okay, let's see how we can customize this for ourselves. At the top, it says recent prints, hit control Y for filter options. So we're going to do this. And one note, it says thinkorswim real-time data. If you have a thinkorswim account, all you have to do is have the application open and all of this pricing will be live. There is an option for Microsoft delayed data, should you not have one of those accounts. And we will have a look at that in a minute. So we'll hit control Y and it brings up this form. So in the top third of the form gives us our criteria for our scanner. So in this case I've chosen prints over 400,000 for the last 10 trading days and I only want to see results that meet my criteria so I have display results with prints only checked. You can choose the drop down box and make a different selection if you wanted all the prints up to 1 million or you can enter a number yourself. If I wanted 325,000, I could do that. In this case, I'm going to do 400,000 and you can put as many trading days back as you like. You can go up and choose from the latest, which is the last current trading day, or put in a, another number up to one year which would take quite some time to run, I would think. So we'll go down and we'll set this to, uh, let's go eight days and see what happens. And I'm gonna choose update. So this is gonna run and it'll probably take less than a minute for the criteria that we've chosen. Notice that there's a progress bar that's continuing here in the middle and on the bottom left, it's actually telling you it's progress. So this one finished in less than a minute, 55 seconds. So we're going to choose OK. Down below it shows that there's 119 results out of 379 possibles. So in order to skim through this, say I'm only looking for longs. Well, I'm going to untick the betweens, which aren't really that important anyway, because we're in between the prints. Like for example, ACB here is at $1.72 it's neither above $1.78 and it's neither below $1.63. Although it has several prints here in that range, we don't want to take a trade unless we know that we're above these prints or below them. So I'm going to untick the between and that returns 103 results. Okay, that leaves us just above and below. So I'm going to untick below since we're looking for bullish trades. So now we're down to 93 possible trades and you can skim through the list and use this information in plotting out your charts and constructing your trading plans. If I wanted to include the below prints, I could do that. Tick below and untick above. So here are my possible shorts. 
So Canada's in trouble here. We're 33.92. We're below this 1.6 million over three trades from May 24th. So Canada's down on the day. One thing, if you untick all of the options, you do get a message saying unticking all of the options will yield no results, and it'll put your selection back. If you want to reset the filter, choose Clear All Filters. Now this tells us some other things, because of all of the tickers that are in there, not all of them met our criteria. So if, for example, Agilent Technologies here says no recent prints in date range. So there were no prints for that ticker. And for, but for Alcoa, it had prints, but it said no prints above 400,000. So it had prints, but it didn't meet your criteria. If you wanted to create a personal list of stocks to track, we can use this ticker filter profiles. So I'm going to add one. And say, for example, I'm interested in some financial stocks. So I'm going to give this one a name, financials. And in here, let's put in some banks. Wells Fargo, XLF for the index, JP Morgan, Citibank, Barclays, and that should be enough. So let's add another one. Let's do technology. I'm going to do AMD, Intel, Apple. STM, and notice it says enter tickers separated by commas. And so we have this in our list. So I can switch from either, like this, and I can choose filter down here. So these are my results. Or I can switch to financials and choose filter. If you switch to all profiles, that's a combination of all of your lists together. This all profiles you can't edit. It is actually a summary of everything in the list. So if I choose all profiles and choose filter, then I've got my seven stocks and I can see where those are. I can also choose override update with profile tickers, which means that if I was to choose update here, instead of going through the entire list of 250 plus stocks, it will only return the ones for this for your list here. I'm going to untick this box and choose clear all filters. We can also search for earnings. So if we do earnings for example this week, being that this is a Saturday when this video is recorded, this would include ones from Monday through the Friday, so these ones would have passed. That might not be a very good example, so let's do next week. So next week we have Can, Crowd, Hewlett Packard, and Lulu that are on our list here. Th this is the same this month, you could see them, or next month as well. You can also sort before market open or act after market close if you were looking for earnings trades. Whenever you're done, you can choose clear all filters. Another option for data, if you don't have a Thinkorswim account, is to use the Microsoft delayed data. Now the delayed data, is 15 minutes delayed and it's built in with the Office 365 subscription. So if I click this TOS data RT, which is our current configuration, we get a message that says formulas will change when you click OK to switch to Microsoft delayed data. Do you want to continue? And we'll choose yes. So this tells you now that it's Microsoft dela delayed data last updated May 28th at 10.02 a.m. Okay, so this does not automatically refresh on its own, so you would actually have to choose re Refresh Microsoft. And notice that the time here has changed. In the next video, we'll look at the quick print lookup form, Control-T. See you over there.